Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to find winning products to list on your eBay dropshipping store. So before this video begins, I would just like to show you guys that my course, Dropship Mastery 2.0, is now actually available just for the next two students for only $297. It's normally $997, but I'm looking to bring on two new students as a close to work with case study. So if you guys are looking to take your dropshipping uh, game you know, to the next level, I've got over 45 videos here. If you guys want to learn how to actually learn the best ways to find products, I mean, I've got 13 videos here showing you guys. I've got 17 videos just showing you how to, you know, the basics and the back end of the business. Six videos on listing your products, 10 videos on how to properly fulfill it, customer service, feedback, and all the advanced topics that no one really talks about. So, if it's something you guys are interested in, those who want to take their dropshipping business to the next level or those who are looking to get into it and just need proper guidance it's now available $297 in the link below or you can go to the link up here but without further ado let's get straight into the video so in this video I'm showing you guys two methods of product research the first one is the basics one um, I think a lot of people know about this one but for those who are new to dropshipping this is the best way and this is the way I started so if you guys are uh, pretty experienced when it comes to dropshipping you guys can skip this method and go straight to method two but if you guys also want to learn, it's called the Amazon bestseller method. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this. As I said, it's the easiest method and it's the method that I started off with. So I love teaching it to beginners. So we're just going to go to Amazon and we're going to go to bestsellers. And we're just going to pick a category, for example, um, the beauty category. And we're just going to find a product. So for example, the number one bestselling product in the beauty category right now is this multi-groom item so we're just going to take it and paste it into ebay and as you can see we are selling it for well not we are but there's people signed up for 88 dollars and it costs 58 so if we just get a calculator quickly so if he's selling it for 88 dollars and it costs 58 he is pocketing 20 dollars in profit so again we just found a winning product all we have to do is just let's say we sell it for 85 we snipe them by three dollars we're still making 18 dollars in profit per item we sell so Pretty simple, just like that. That's how you can find products. Really simple method. Um, again, this is how I started off, and it's not the best because you're pretty restrained and limited to certain products and also certain suppliers, like just Amazon, which for scaling to over a million dollars in sales, which I've done, it's not the best when you're sticking to just one supplier. So let's just go again, and let's say we pick this one. It's a little bit different, but it's a similar product. Um, some sort of razor or groomer. And this one's selling for 79 and it is 59 here. So if we go back to our calculator, let's say we sell ours for 77. I think it was 59, if I can remember. Yep. So we're only making $10 profit on this one. A little bit less, but again, it's still free money nonetheless. Because if we can sell 10 of these a day, let's say we list 100 items, 10% of them sells, a 10 sell. And we're making $10 profit on every item we've listed. We're making $100 a day, and that's you know a very nice monthly side income. Extra three grand a month doesn't hurt anyone. It's enough to cover your mortgage or cover your monthly expenses, whatever. So it's perfect. So that is pretty much method one. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go into Amazon, go to best sellers. We can go do it again. Um, let's say we skip beauty. We go to a different niche. So we'll do, how do we see more? on the side here so let's say we go into lighting and then we pick uh, a bliss light here and these sell for $63 let's see if we can make some profit on this one 74 so I don't think there's a lot of profit on this item here but we can have a look $3 profit I wouldn't risk uh, not risk but I wouldn't waste your insertion listings because if you just started a store you only have 40 insertion listings I wouldn't waste one of your 40 on something that's only going to bring you three dollars in profit so unless this has a promotion on it sometimes i wouldn't waste my time listing that item um and we can just i'll show you guys again one more time i've seen these trending on tiktok so i'll have a look and see if they are profitable on ebay if it's selling for 21 it's going for under so yeah not worth it uh, let's just try and find something that isn't LED strip lights because LED lights are all over everything and it's pretty hard to rank number one on a brand new account. We can try this one here. It's similar to the one we looked at before. And we'll try and find the exact product. So we'll just take more of the title. Okay, so it's 
here it is. So sixty-eight dollars. These guys are selling it for, and it's forty-nine on Amazon. So if we sell last for sixty-six, that's forty-nine. About ten dollars profit again. So this is something I would list on our store. So hopefully that you know pretty basic, and those who are new to dropshipping can understand that one. Let's go over to the next method, which is through something called ScrewGrid. ScrewGrid gives us access to so many more suppliers and lets us actually take this to the next level. So if we just look here, I'm gonna try and find something that's Australian. Let's say we go to Catch. So ScrewGrid gives us a list of, you know, hundreds upon hundreds of suppliers. I can see there's so many of them here. And we're just gonna take a supplier. So now we have access to new suppliers, which allows us to pretty much repeat the same process but on a bunch of different new trusted suppliers. So we're not restrained to Amazon now. Now we have a whole range of new suppliers. The issue is it's harder to find competitors, which means when we list an item, we don't know if it's gonna sell. So I'll give you an example. So I don't wanna just jump ahead of myself. Let's say, you know, this item right here. So it's a bin or a wall bin. I'm not sure if people are selling this on eBay. So if we paste it, we'll just find out. So there are. But let's say hypothetically there weren't. Well, you wouldn't know if it's a winning product or not because there's not as many people who are selling from these obscure suppliers. So you're gonna have to sort of test the market. So let's say we didn't see all these, but we saw a similar item like these ones. As you can see, they're going for a lot more. Now, granted, these are 60, and these are only 30, but if we doubled the price, you know, or you half the price here, if 60 are selling for $80, meaning you could sell 30 for 40, and we get it for 15, if you sold yours at 40 and you get it at 15, you know, you're still making $20 profit. So that's how you would list it. Now, unfortunately, there are people selling this for only $20, meaning we're not going to be able to make a lot of profit. But that was just the basic understanding of what do you do when no one has listed the product. Okay, so I came across this bin here. It's a 22 liter bin, which is pretty big, um, vertical bin. So we're just gonna take this title and paste it into eBay. And there is no one selling it. No one's selling anything even similar. Actually, there's a 20 liter bin going for 133. So it's a little bit similar price. So I'm just trying to find any similar bins. So if we can see if we can even just find a 22 liter bin that we can base the price off of. I know West Coast is a pretty premium brand as well. So this isn't, you know, um, you know, everyday bin from Kmart, for example. This is pretty strong and sturdy. So as you can see, there's no one selling this. There's no one selling anything similar. How do you know if it's a winning product? Well, look, based on that information, it's hard to tell. You can't really tell. It's just a risk. If you have a store and you can sell up to 600 or 1,200 or 5,000 products, might as well just list it. You know, put it at a, a decent profit margin and just see how it goes because it can be a winner. This product can be something that sells 10 times a day. You don't know because no one's listed it. So, look, it's just um, it's something that takes a while. Product research when you're doing it yourself and you're not sniping isn't something that happens just like that. It takes a while, you know, to, to occur. So, I just wanted to show you guys the two methods. The first one was the Amazon bestseller method and the second one was pretty much the same method but through a way to find more obscure suppliers using ScrewGrid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have learned some stuff. Again, if you guys are looking to learn this properly, in depth, with you know over 13 different ways of um, product research, my course is available for the next two students at $297. So if you guys are interested, click the link in the description or go directly to the link up here. Um, other than that, I'll